Welcome to the 307 Project range. We got a little different video for you guys today. Instead of reviewing a weapon, we're actually gonna talk a little bit about how to shoot, or maybe you would say the different styles of shooting. When you decide you want to get serious about uh, learning how to shoot, right? You wanna get serious about your training, you wanna become proficient, you need to make a decision. Are you going to be a combat shooter or, or or are you going to be a competition shooter? Those are two different styles of shooting, two different styles of manipulating the weapon, uh, and you're trying to achieve two different outcomes in terms of combat shooting versus competition shooting, all right? There are a lot, a lot of differences. The point is make a decision so that you train the same way and build muscle memory according to how you want to shoot. All right, combat shooting is going to be uh, more uh, practical, right? More practical, so actually training uh, to, to take shots, make shots, and manipulate the weapon under less than perfect conditions, high stress, it might be dark, it might be cold, it might be wet and scary with your adrenaline high, things change, all right? Out on the range, everything's perfect, you can actually move faster, uh, you can change a lot of things up out on the range because it's perfect conditions, man. So, Today, we're gonna to talk about just a few things. First of all, the first thing that I wanna talk about, as a combat shooter, we are always going to work off the back of our slide, all right? We're never going to work off the front of our slide. The reason we wanna work off the back of our slide, one, uh, be, well, I mean, I think it just makes sense to grab the back of your slide than to reach all the way up here to the front of your slide. You're getting closer to the muzzle of the weapon uh, and potentially blowing some finger off, fingers off if you had a negligent discharge on accident while you were trying to manipulate the slide. Uh, another reason that we wanna work off the back of the slide is because if we're trying to clear a malfunction, we don't wanna have our hand up here over top of the chamber where that potentially fouled round or empty casing or whatever it may be, we're trying to get that out of the chamber, clear the chamber. If we're working up here on the front of the slide, we are actually potentially blocking the ability for that round to eject out of the weapon. Back here, we keep our chamber and our ejection port nice and open, right? Always work off the back of the slide. While we're talking about the slide, and working off the back of it, we as combat shooters never ever use the slide release lever. Never ever use the slide release lever. All competition shooters use this because when you're working reloads, it is faster to use this, all right? And in perfect conditions, you can hit that slide release lever every time and speed your shooting up just a hair. Now, in combat, you're, you're amped up, right? It might be dark, it might be scary. We just talked about that. This slide release lever is a little bitty button. I'm never gonna send my slide forward with that. I'm always going to grip the back of my slide and pull back and through the slide in order to send it forward. This is a much more gross, uh, just big movement. This is always gonna be here. I can always find this. No matter what, no matter how crazy it is, I can always find this to send my slide forward. I have a hard time finding that sometimes, right? Always send your slide forward just like that. No slide release lever. Last thing we're gonna talk about right here and then I'm gonna demonstrate a mag change for you guys. Um, oh, by the way, never put empty mags in your mag pouches unless you're doing it to set up for a drill, which we're about to do here in a minute. That is sacrilege to put empty mags in your mag pouches. I think maybe that's a combat shooter thing too. All right, we're gonna load and make ready. I'm gonna demonstrate working off the back of the slide, not using the slide release lever. And then also another thing I wanna talk about, the difference between combat shooters and competition shooters is actually how we insert and seat our magazine. A lot of competition shooters, they're trying to go as fast as they can, right? So they're gonna insert that magazine, slam it home, and then they're just gonna continue on with their shoot, all right? A combat shooter is always going to tap his magazine home or slam it home, and then he's gonna give the magazine a tug to make sure it's seated properly, 
All right, we don't have the luxury of potentially that magazine not being seated properly, punching out and taking a shot, and the weapon doesn't work, all right? So we're always gonna tap, tug, rotate our weapon, work off the back of the slide, pull straight back and through the slide, just like that, and then we're gonna holster. I'm gonna demonstrate a mag change for you guys. I'm gonna take my empty magazine. I'm gonna bump my full magazine out, back into my magazine pouch, take my empty mag, put it in my weapon, and I have a round in the chamber. All the things we just talked about, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they look like in real time, all right? So, this is a combat reload, not a competition reload. Here we go. So, good aggressive stance. Tap, tug, rotate, send the slide home. Punch back out. That would be representative of a combat reload. A little bit slower than a competition shooter, but guess what? It's going to work and you're gonna be able to find all those things and the weapon is going to function if you go through all those steps when you need it to function, when it's real. Enough said.